What is going on, everybody? Switch my Zeus here, back with our Vim Jazz of the Madden 20 Chicago Bears franchise mode episode number 19. Today, we got that conference matchup for the game before the Super Bowl. And uh, yeah, Washington is coming to town. Earlier in the year, we did lose to Dwayne Haskins um, by my bad clock management. You guys go check that out. Uh, it will be in the playlist, uh, which will be in the end screen annotation. So make sure you watch that. Khalil Mack ready to go, ready to dominate the Redskins here. On the other side is Kansas City versus the Cam Newton-led Denver Broncos, who we took down in Week 2. So this was actually a Week 3 matchup, I believe. And here's Bryce Love. Uh, for his first handoff in a 10-yard rush. Now, third and one, Eric Geis up the middle. Destroys Kyle Fuller. Uh, a little bit later in the drive, second three. Haskins on the run and on the money. The first down now, third and eight. Pass complete right side to Love. He's going to get the first down and more than 21. Haskins now complete left side inside the five. Haskins alone in the backfield. He's going to look to the end zone. He's going to be taken down. That was a keen Hicks, I believe. With the sack, now he's going to tumble down to his tight end. I believe Jordan Reed is now back on the Redskins to like sign him back. So, uh, third and goal, Haskins rolling out to his left, scrambling back to his right. He finds his man open for the touchdown. So, the Bears defense, not a good drive there. You saw the Broncos actually beat the Kansas City Chiefs right there on the bottom of your screen. Third and three, we can't get it. So, fourth and three, going for it like we have all year. And that is complete to Allen Robinson. Now, play action falls over the middle to Allen Robinson. Robinson going to get inside. Uh, to the Washington Territory. Now Foles looking deep downfield. That's Javon Williams inside 30 to 27. Now from first down, it's going to be caught. A nice catch there by Cohen hanging on to it. Second and two. Foles from under center delivers to Jimmy Graham. Gets the first. And he'll bring it inside uh, the 15. Now here Robinson from the seven gets the touchdown grab. Last week against the Cowboys, he had four touchdowns. See if he can continue that performance in today's video. And now Haskins looking left side. That is caught. Haskins is off to an incredible start here. Making uh, <laughs> our defense look pretty bad. But here's Khalil Mack. Sending my nano blitz. That's going to get him down. It's third and 18. We're going back to that blitz. It's actually picked up. Haskins, he can't stay away forever. He's going to be taken down first by Javeth and then finished off by Robert Quinn. Now the pass right side. Dangerous pass. Complete to Jimmy Graham. Graham stumbles up to the 43. Now here's Marlon Mack. The first down carry. Uh, our first down. Yeah, the rush. Uh, nearly have another first down. And there's a big juke to get inside uh, the Redskins territory. And there on 4th and 6, Mr. Automatic, Allen Robinson. Here's play action from Foles. Foles trying to buy some time. And he gets taken down. So second 22, it's Cordero Patterson using his speed, the juke move. And he's going to get all those yards back to bring up 3rd and 10. Five-man pass rush from the Redskins. It's Allen Robinson over the middle. Couldn't quite get to the marker. So fourth and one. We're going goal line offense. It's Marlon Mack untouched into the end zone. Touchdown Bears. And uh, this, is, this is a cool celebration because... Um, you know, baseball, so uh, got to hit you know, gotta hit that, that home run. So uh, Bears are now going to be up by 7. See you later, Marlon Mack, home run hitter, even though that wasn't, you know, that impressive of a run. But, uh, yeah, so Bryce Love taken down in the backfield by Danny Trevathan now over the middle, 39. That is McLaurin, and he will not go down eventually, taking that by Mar or, uh, excuse me, Khalil Mack, and the hustle to get there. So second and four pass, complete right side. And now Haskins and the shotgun taken down by Khalil Mack. He had 10 sacks in one game earlier in the season. Maybe he can add on to that again or do something crazy. You never know, man. If I send this blitz, it works. So here's the interception by Kyle Fuller. And he has green grass. Had him going to get the pick six. No, he's going to be taken down by Bryce Love. Man, that was close. And here is Marlon Mack. The big run of the uh, 13, six yards on the carry. Now it's a toss left side. That's blown up in the backfield by Landon Collins. Third and 11, Foles dancing in the backfield. Gets the throw off. It's pass interference. A bail out for the Bears on third and 11. Now it's back of the end zone. Allen Robinson, his second touchdown of the day. Foles to Robinson cannot be stopped. This has been repeat, repeated over and over. You guys have seen it uh, throughout the year. 
and uh, it's been a sight to see. Here's Bryce Love finding some breathing room there up to the 50 yard line. And here on second and eight, <laughs> the, the, the roundabout there by uh, Darius Geist. Now here comes the blitz. Danny Trevathan with the sack. He's now got one and a half in the night with three tackles. That was on a third down, so that would force a punt by the Redskins. Now Robinson wide open in the middle and full just misses. I mean, it was kind of a bad miss, but uh, here, there's me trying to force it to Riley Ridley, and there's an interception by the Redskins. That's what they needed, down only two scores. So you're getting the Redskins now from the 23. Haskins, empty backfield. Haskins is not going to get taken down. Just got the pass off to the running back there to the uh, split out wide, and there is McLaurin in the end zone. Touchdown, Redskins. So it's only a one score game. Here's Javon Williams, the snag. And now we're on no huddle. The pass to Dart. And that's actually Tariq Cohen. Tariq, two pass into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. So just like that, the Bears strike back and are back up by two touchdowns. So if we take down the Redskins, we'll be taking on Cam Newton, who we did defeat earlier in the year. Let's see if we can continue this uh, great game and carry it in the second half. But first, with 30 seconds left, we've got to hold them and not give them any points to Sean Gibson. A big hit. Now third and eight. Haskins with 20 seconds left. He's going to dump it down and he's going to run out of bounds. So the, I think they would, I don't know what happened. I guess they punted. I thought they hit him long field, but they didn't. So never mind. So, one last chance maybe to get a play. It's Allen Robinson. He holds it in, but it gets tackled. So, let's get a little bit of extra stats right there. Uh, and, yeah, the Redskins did punt. So, I was just, for some reason, I was thinking they tried a field goal or something. But, uh, yeah, first possession there on third and 12. Uh, first, you know, on the second half, uh, they'll be complete to Allen Robinson again. So, here's a nice pass. That's Darnell Mooney. And that brings it up to the 32 yard line. Marlon Mack putting on the moves to the 23, second and two. Foles, left side, caught Cole Komet. He's going to try to run over defender, doesn't work. They'll take two to take him down now, third and nine. Foles, trying to maybe get Tariq Cohen and in the end zone. And it is caught, Tariq, the user playmaker, scores another touchdown. As the Bears offense now is starting to click, hopefully the defense can continue their dominance now. I mean, all things considered, 14 points isn't too bad. And 35-14. Uh, and now Khalil Mack takes down Haskins, throws him down, three sacks for Khalil. Four tackles, now Mack, not going to get there, but it's going to be swatted away to pass, looking left side, Haskins, who was for McLaurin. That was on third down, supports the punt here to Marlon Mack. He gets a big run, gets laid out by Landon, but unfortunately it's going to be holding on James Daniels. So first and 19, Marlon Mack going to get all of that back and more. Marlon Mack to the 45-yard line. Big run from Mack there. Great blocking. Now we're going to go David Montgomery. He's got a big hole himself in Montgomery in Washington territory. The 39, 5 for 21. Now look at the right side. That's Cordero Patterson. Patterson inside the 25, the 20. Now from the red zone. The handoff to Marlon Mack. Up the gut. Marlon Mack for a five-yard rush. Now second and five. Foles drops back. From under center. Looks left side. That's Tariq Cohen in the end zone. His second touchdown of the day. Cohen's starting to come alive here. Actually, no, it's his third. My bad. Third touchdown of the day. Starting to come alive in this uh, second half of the season, we're just the playoffs. And uh, he's struggled with injuries during the year. Third and six, it will be uh, forced incomplete by Khalil Mack. So second and six, the nasty juke from Cohen. And then the face mask penalty will move the Bears up quite a bit. If we take a look now, we are at the 48. So here's Foles, dumping it down to Cohen. And Tariq just gets the first down. Now second and 10, it's a Big jet, jet touch, best play action off of it. It's going to be Jimmy Graham, and Graham has some green grass up to the 22. Now we're actually going to run it this time for Darnell Mooney. Mooney outraises the defenders, and Darnell Mooney gets near the sticks to the 13. Now second and one. Bulls deep drop back, finds the man Cordero Patterson. Cordero Patterson in the end zone. Touchdown. We are demolishing the Redskins right now. This is a revenge game, folks. We are doing everything we can to pour it on. And this was unfortunate as that is going to be Darius Geis all the way in the end zone. 49-21 now after he broke a bunch of tackles. Here's Marlon Mack, though, a big run. Marlon Mack, left side, and he gets taken down right by the 50-yard line. Now we're going to have Trubisky come in the ball game. Something I never really did is I never really put in my backups, uh, like backup quarterbacks or anything. I know I should have. Yeah, I probably should have done that when I was up by a lot. 
Uh, two receivers going to be taken down here after breaking the first sack. Uh, that first pass was a little off, but uh, we, it worked out. This one, though, didn't quite place where I wanted it to go, so Landon Collins with the pick. And here is the tackle. I, I left my defensive starters in, except for Lee Mack, who is going to... There is Mack going to be entering the ballgame, but first, Khalil's going to get another sack. He's got four now. Khalil in the zone. That's going to be caught left side. A nice pass for McCaskins and McLaurin on third and 14. We bring up uh, first down there. Now laying the drive, second and one handoff. Goes nowhere. Broke, or excuse me, the play is blown up by Roquan Smith. And here is a shed tackle up to the 48. And Bears defense, we're just running this man blitz, and uh, it's kind of getting destroyed. If you get the pass off, it's you're going to destroy my blitz. So that's why I wouldn't really run this against like you know competitive players. But, uh, yeah, hit off Montgomery. They're going to get a solid gain. Trubisky, Dave Montgomery gets the first down. Moves the sticks up to the third. Two Trubisky rolling out to his right on the dot. Darnell Mooney to the 48. It's a nice 16-yard gain. Now, uh, RPO for Javon Wims. Trubisky running the offense pretty well right here. <laughs> and Trubisky, what a throw on the run. Or actually, the back off the back foot to Darnell Mooney. And that's going to bring up first and goal from the seven. Trubisky throws left side. That's to Cordero Patterson for his second touchdown of the day. Patterson and Cohen have had a nice night uh, as running backs, turning into a little bit receivers. Obviously, uh, you know, they're both very versatile so and similar type players. But, uh, yeah, now Haskins back out on the field. Their season on the line. They're hoping to put up some more points. Let Darius Mack nearly got the sack. They're broken up by Roquan Smith. They're on second and ten. That pass is complete. So that's second and two. Now empty set in the backfield. Ladarius Mack teaming up with his brother on the Bears. And they're both going to have sacks in this game. Ladarius Mack starting to get some playing time. Ladarius Mack, another sack. He's got two. His brother has four. And we'll see how many more Ladarius can rack up as fourth and four going for it. Marlon Mack, the handoff from Chubisky goes nowhere. Not the smartest decision, so up by quite a bit. Uh, we're just going for that. And Haskins breaks the sack, but Ladarius is going to finish it off. Three sacks now for Mack. Insane performance by Ladarius Mack. You're just in this fourth quarter. And there, the pass is going to be complete left side to bring up third and forever. Ladarius Mack can't quite get there. It's going to be not breaking up, broken up. Uh, they would sell for three, though, so uh, she's on the line. You're selling for three. I don't know what you're doing, but we're down Paris in the handoff. He's going to get some nice runs right here. Uh, a little bit late in the game, 6 for 29 on the Knights. We're going to go a little no huddle here, and a little bit later in the drive. We're going to run a read option. It's Mitch Trubisky, the run up to the 45. Now Josh Rosen entering the ball game, and I threw a pick with Josh Rosen on the first time for his first play, so that's nice. Uh, here is Haskins, earning out, nearly picked up by James Johnson, should have been. I was looking for McLaurin there. Uh, Haskins now over 300 yards, hand off to um, Darius Geis to the 45. And Haskins can't run forever. Ladarius Mack with his fourth sack. The Mack Bros have combined for eight sacks. This is crazy. And Ladarius has done it all in the fourth quarter. And here's Robert Quinn throwing down Haskins for good measure. One and a half sacks for him. We're going to get the ball back. See what Josh Rosen can do. Now five seconds left. Haskins deep. Excuse me. Uh, Rosen deep downfield caught by Cordero Patterson. So one of three, four to three to pick, which is kind of my fault. But uh, yeah, so it was a Trubisky one though. So um, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's take a look at the team stats. Then we're gonna look at the Pro Bowl and you know kind of set the stage for the Super Bowl, which will be in the next episode. Also, the off season will. Uh, but the offseason didn't quite go as planned. But 56-31, uh, your final score. We had 526 passing yards. Uh, you guys can check out the full box score stats right here. Marlon Mack, 18 for 123 on the ground with also a touchdown. Trubisky, 2 for 11. Robinson, 8 for 137 with two touchdowns. Cohen, what a game was for his 6 for 112 with three touchdowns. And Patterson, 4 for 82 with two touchdowns. And look at the cash of six pancake blocks. Eddie Jackson, Kyle Fuller, the two defensive backs leading the way for the Bears with 11 tackles each. Look at the sack totals from the Bears defense. Mac, the Mac, the Mac Bros with eight themselves. And then you guys saw Trebath and Robert Quinn with one and a half each, which would make a total of 11 sacks for the Bears. So, uh, yeah, we only had 10 third down uh, attempts. We could earn four of those, so that was nice. Put the four down, we were four or five. Here's the uh, Pro Bowl roster without our team, of course, since we are uh, you know, in the Super Bowl. So, Michael Burton, former Chicago Bear, is in the Pro Bowl. He was, I uh, believe, on the Saints now, or was last season. 
Emmanuel Sanders makes it. Greg Olson, Charles Clay, some interesting names here on these on the and on this list. Uh, as uh, let's see, wait for this really interesting. We got Kwan Alexander, Eric Kendricks, Bob Wagner, of course. I'm not sure why he's uh, middle linebacker number two. Jason Verrett makes it. Uh, you got Cedric Thompson on the Redskins makes it. Ricardo Allen, uh, Damon Harmon, Harrison Smith, Greg Zerline, Stress Way, and can return us with Sims. But here is top players week 20. Uh, Cleo Mack actually got it. And Nick Foles, there's MVP trophy. I don't know what it looks like that's for, but uh, yeah. So, anyway, guys, hope you did enjoy. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.